Hey, hello YouTubers, this is Tony FL, and welcome to my channel. And uh, today I want to discuss uh, the uh, Air Venturi Avenger, and uh, we're going to do a little uh, chassis modification. I already had started taking this thing apart. I should have waited and started this from the beginning, but as you can see, I already have some items already installed on the uh, Avenger, which is that power platinum that I got from, uh, whoa, whoa, that was a close one, <laughs> that I got over the internet, and this bottle, I just installed the bottle, these two bands, and this power platinum. Obviously, as you can see, I got a uh, Donnie FL uh, Shogun moderator on here. I also installed the Donnie FL uh, half-inch UNF adapter, which also slides into the shroud, attaching itself to the barrel, and as well as uh, harmonic balancers in here. There's a, there's actually five of them in here. Four plus the one that comes with the gun and that is installed for precision and accuracy it keeps the barrel from any and actually reduces the barrel vibration as it's being fired um, my choice I don't know if you can see that it's the uh, Aventuri Terminator ATAC chassis and that's the choice that I've made, and, and I'll explain why. Uh, please excuse me. I hope that my head's not being cut off in the video. So let me move some stuff around. I need to be able to not be bending over and trying to keep my, my eyesight on this camera. So I kind of backed up so you can get my whole head here. <laughs> so yeah. As you can see, this is the original Aventuri Avenger wood stock. What type of wood it's made out of, I have no clue, but it is a good quality wood. But it's not to my liking. I mean, this is more like a classical uh, look. And, you know, for those of you guys who like classical chassis, wood stock chassis, I mean, this is something you would like, but uh, it's not to my liking. I'm more of a tactical guy, so I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to uh, put this off to the side, and I'm going to move forward with this build, and and I'll explain why I chose the uh, Terminator ATAC chassis, and I'll explain its features as I go along, but. For those of you who have, have Avengers, 22 caliber, uh, 177 caliber, 25, or whatever it is that you have, my recommendation is a Terminator ATAC, and I'll tell you why as, as, I soon, as soon as I get back. So bear with me. Okay. Here is the uh, chassis. I'm gonna place this on the table. I hope you guys can see it. Let me get these old uh, air tubes from the Avenger out of the table, away from the table. Okay, so my reason for choosing this chassis is for its lightweight, Stirability, its firmness. I mean, it's firm. It's extremely light, and I love the setup with the vi the, the bipods and the adjustable bus stock with its honeycomb design cutout. And uh, as you can see, the chassis itself has honeycomb cutouts or pat pr patterns on there to to match up. And I mean, it's a good looking chassis. And let me, let me bring this up to the camera just a little bit. Now, if you see, 
This is a strong, if you can see the thickness of the panels on the sides, that is thick. And that is, is really, really hard. I mean, I'm not doing that make believe squeeze like, oh, 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 like some people do on the, you know, this, I squeeze this thing. If it breaks, I'm sure I'm going to get a free one. Because I'm sure this guy's not going to want my video up there blasting him. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's very firm, very solid, and extremely lightweight. I mean, I love it. I love it. You know, the, the reason why I love this is it's, it's lightweight. And, and when you're out in the woods and you're out there shooting and, or hunting or small game hunting, whatever it is that you, you use your rifle for, you don't want to be lugging weight all, all day long, man. It, it gets to a point where you like, really? I mean, you're like, really? So you want to be as comfortable as possible throughout your day while you're actually carrying your, your air rifle. The other reasons why I chose this chassis is, like I said, I'm a tactical kind of guy. And if you take a good look at the chassis, it, it clearly shows what it's good for sitting right up on the table nice and firm nice and stable if I want to lay on the ground and do ground shot or ground shooting or if I want to hide under a bush or something and I'm following these rabbits or squirrels or turkeys or whatever it is that I'm hunting and I can hide real low and still get in a good shot this is what you want it's that simple I mean you can see you can see it's a design it's layout what it's technically used for. And if I want a bench rest and shoot off a bench rest, I can move them bipods off. Or if I want to shoot on a, on, a bench, on a table, I can just position the bipods to whatever position I need. I mean, they are multiply adjustable. They, they have three positions, upright. Obviously, you saw they were forward, just like this one here, and backwards. So you got three added positions here to, to your comfort. I personally like forward position because if I need to come up or down, it, it's easier for me. I mean, you can also use them towards the rear position and you'll get that teeter-totter effect with, for your barrel, which is another good reason why you can use it this way. Now, if you use it this way, as you can see, it's still sturdy. Now, if you need to get a, a drop on your shot, you're giving that barrel the room to drop without hitting the ground. And you're still not being affected as, as a, and you're still not affecting your shoulder position while you're laying on the ground if that's the type of shooting you do. I like to do it. And uh, it's, it's just the perfect setup. It's just a perfect setup. Now, I noticed, because I do have another uh, option out in the uh, internet for the Avenger, but I chose this one. Now, if you look, let me get up close here. If you look at this, he's got them detail, details up in here. And whether you believe it or not, these lines here, and this is to my observation, is that uh, this is all added strength and support. Just like you see the thickness here. I mean, this is thick, bro. I mean, extremely thick. It's thick here. You know, the chassis slides in here. And this area here bolts into the chassis, as well as this portion down here. But everything else that surrounds the chassis is like hugely thick so if you guys are ever concerned about this thing breaking on you I wouldn't worry about it because it's extremely strong and I love it I love it it's super light 3d printed can't go wrong can't go wrong so without further ado I'm gonna start putting this baby back together now they he, he uh Sends you everything. All this comes together. The whole chassis comes together. It comes with the bipods. The bipods lower chassis support. The uh, Avenger lower chassis uh, manifold 
support, the buffer tube, and the adjustable stock. Now this stock here in particular, let me see if he's got a brand on it. I don't see it. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. Oh, this is a U, UTG? Nope. The glasses don't even work for me. Well, I can't really see what brand that is. But anyway, it's a good looking stock. It works. It locks. It's got the locking lever here. You know, it's, it's got the four or five position. Let me see. You got one, two, three. Oh, I went too far. That's three. Four, four positions, if I'm not mistaken. So that's not bad. And it's got the locking mechanism here so it doesn't slide out on there. All right. So yeah, man, I like to go out in the range and uh, shoot my target off of the table. Once in a while, I'll go to the woods, I'll lay on the ground and shoot at my, ta at my targets. And uh, hopefully, when it's the right hunting season, I will be going out there to do a little hunting, small game hunting. So this is why I'm getting this particular air rifle ready for that. So let me see, I hope this thing doesn't fall off that bench rest. But uh, without further ado, I'm gonna start putting this thing together. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I already had started placing my barrel bands on there. And, and I tell you, See the Avenger, and I've noticed it in a lot of other videos. The rifles, most of these rifles don't come with barrel bands. So when I when I observed the purpose of the barrel band being attached to the bottle, and, and I look at it closely and I said, well, you know what? Man. That's added stability to my accuracy. I mean, extreme stability. And I will get back to that when I finish bolting this thing down because uh, these things are key, key factors, extreme key factors to your shooting and your accuracy, as well as the uh, harmonic balancers that are within that shroud. Okay, now don't get me wrong, Aventuri Avenger has come out with an awesome, affordable, low budget air rifle. This one in particular is a 25 caliber, and I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat I'm a consumer just like you, and none of these guys are paying me to do this video. I'm not getting any freebies to do this video, but I'm gonna be honest with you I, you gotta give Caesar what Caesar. This is an awesome rifle. It's an extremely awesome rifle. I mean, the accuracy on this rifle is amazing. And what I love the best, the most about this thing, it's ability to adjust. The hammer spring adjustment is, is there. You have your regulator adjustment. And you can control based on your pellet weight or slug weight, because this thing does shoot slugs as well, and I've done it already. And this is my reason why I'm going this far as to get this thing where I really want it. It's amazing. I mean, if you if you can figure out your 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 calibrations and uh, to shoot the proper a proper pellet and slug at the appropriate velocity, plus obviously your your scope, your, your the right scope on your on your uh, on your on your air rifle, man. I will tell you, this, this I'm telling you, this thing is incredible, incredible. But anyway, without further ado, bear with me. Let me start putting these bolts back in together, and I'm going to get a little more into detail as to the advantages of this Terminator ATAC chassis and. Then I will go and pause the, the video and I will take it to my yard in the back. I got a 25, give or take, 25 uh, 
yard range in my back and I'm gonna shoot a couple of rounds so you can see what it looks like, how it feels. And you can be the judge of what, you, what your choice would be if you would do some upgrades like this. All right, so moving forward, let me get these uh, two screws that go down in here. Bear with me, I just wanna make sure that video is running. Okay, we're still in business. I thought that wasn't filming. So, let me get these, these screws here placed into its proper position. I'm taking these screws off of this little piece here because I already have one that's already there and uh, I'm going to place these two screws right underneath the section where the uh, grip goes and that's to hold the chassis on the uh, Aventuri Avenger manifold towards the rear which is increases stability And then once we get these two screws in here, um, we're gonna move forward with the other ones. Okay, I guess I'm there. Now when you're placing these screws on this thing, don't go ballistic and crazy, man. This thing is scaring me. <laughs> this is scaring me. Next time I'll get a, a, a better stand to do this. Don't go crazy over torquing these screws because you're gonna wind up stripping the uh, the brass uh, fitting that's in there that holds it down up against the uh, Avengers manifold. And you know, for you guys who enjoy the uh, air gun sport and the shooting, this is this is what we do, man. You know, I'm going to be transparent with you as possible. I'm not making any money with these guys. Trust me. But, like I said earlier, you got to give Caesar what's Caesar. Okay, now this here is a 3mm bolt, which goes right in front of the trigger which holds the Terminator chassis in the middle section to the main frame. And you don't want to overdo that. Now up here, I already installed the band and I already had measured all this. That's why everything's just lining up. I didn't want to go through the trouble trying to line things up while I'm filming the video, so I kind of preset myself here. Now you got another four screws that hold the lower portion, this lower portion here of the chassis onto the bottle by means of this barrel band. Now, once I put these two, these four screws in here, what that's going to do second here what that's going to do is increase your firmness and stability on your shot because not only and I'm going to, I'm going to explain this in detail to you and I hope you guys can understand what I'm, what I'm looking at not only is this chassis, the Terminator ATAC chassis, being held in the rear off the Avenger manifold. It's also being held in the midsection by a main bolt. This rails here are attached and bolted down to the other, to its other half, being supported at the main block. 
It extends out forward and attaches to the bottom by means of this band. And this band attaches to the bottle and the barrel, giving the extra support all the way through its frame. So, when you got all this thing bolted down and in place, you're not gonna have a shitty air rifle, to per se, because you already got the quality of the Avenger. Uh, uh, Avenger and the added quality and stability of the Terminator 8 factor. So with the combination of both setups, you, you're turning out, you're turning this Woodstock classic look into an awesome, awesome, extremely awesome, I'm gonna say, tactical air rifle. Let me uh, squeeze by here. I gotta get these other two screws up here in the front. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Drop that one. Oh my god. If I dropped this thing, I would cry. <laughs> Literally. I love. Oh my god. I love this gun. And I don't want to have this gun taking any damage hits. Well, I'm very cautious and careful with it. I don't like scratches on my things. I really don't. Just gently. Oh. All you want to do is take this in softly. You don't want to go crazy. Look, I'm very light. Get my other one. I want to tighten that up until they're all in position. I'm left-handed, so I'm, it's a little uncomfortable to work off. You know. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So just gently just drive these things in. You don't want to go crazy. Over tightening them, stripping the screws. Because there's no need for that. All right. I mean, just snug them in there enough where you know you got a good grip. There's no sense of, you know, like you're doing a 25 pound torque, you know, with a torque wrench or anything. Because it doesn't need it. So there it is, guys. Now, my last step here is my Pro Mag grip, which comes with the chassis and the bus stop. All this comes together in your purchase. And I'm gonna slide this in. And look at that. Doesn't that shit look beautiful? That shit looks beautiful, bro. Wow. I love it. I'm loving this shit. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Stay there. Stay there. All right, so I'm gonna get, oh wait. I gotta, I got the bolt here. That's not the right bolt. Yeah, I got a, install my particular grip I guess you know I have to uh, install these little rubber grommets that go under there that's part of my instructions as per the, the gentleman who makes these so bear with me Oh boy, here we go. Now, I, it has two rubber grommets, but I'm not sure if I need both of them or just one. But anyway, let me get the right size Allen key for the grip bolt. Oh, that's too small. I'm guessing this is a five. Oh, no, it's not a oh, What size is that? Size, where is it? <laughs> you tight. 
gentle because using this type of tools is kind of kind of hard because you tend to without knowing over torque and that's what you don't want to do so moving forward I'm going to place this rubber grommet up as per the instructions on the package my uh, mounting bolt and by the way, that bolt is a 316, so it's not a metric. That's why I was having problems. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, here we go. We're in. We just use this Allen key here. Push that rubber grommet down into its position. And we're there. Awesome. Here we go. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. I just I just had a I just had to go back and pick this one up. Okay, because that's going on here. And uh, here we go. I'm going to place this, in, line, line this bolt up to its mating hole. And just start threading it ever so gently. But get it to sit first. And keep that bolt straight. Hand tighten this first. Get the thread started. You know, because there's no need to power drive any of these screws. They're, they're small screws, they're not machine screws. Uh, actually, you're not building a, a car engine or a lawnmower engine that you need to over torque this stuff. So, there we go. So, I, I actually drove this bolt down manually all the way. And I'm just going to give it a little snug to verify my grip is firm. It's, it's going and there we are nothing overdoing it I'm, I'm scared of this stuff because you, when you're using this lever it's like you you might overdo it and, and you don't you don't realize it till it's too late and then you got to rethread and add a new bolt on there and before you know it you just created a little more work for yourself so here it is we'll get it off of there let me clear this off no, there it is. Isn't she a beauty? Hell yeah. This is awesome. Now, I got my scope here, and this is a uh, high ram 4 16 by 50 A O E G. I love this scope, and it's, it's not an expensive scope, but man, it 
it, it does a great job. Does an extremely well job. How famous this brand is, I don't know, but I know it's a cheap scope. But for now, that's all I can afford, so. <laughs> and I can still see what I'm shooting at, and it's hitting my target, and that's what I care about. So, I already know what slot I was in prior, so let me reset this to its prior position so I don't change my adjustments, which I doubt it does. It, it might change it just a, a little bit if you move it forward or back. Your eye relief has a lot to do with it, but yeah. So, if you take a good look, look at that. Look at that machine. I love this grip. I mean, it's it's like the perfect fit. It's the perfect fit for my hand. Man, it's it's an amazing look. Now, if you want to pivot your shot, you got that pivot point up down. So you can actually teeter totter when you're shooting up or downhill. And your shoulder, if you're laying on the ground, your shoulder's about this high. So you'll be able to level your rifle, level your shot. The Terminate ATAC is the perfect setup for the Air Venturi Avenger. All jokes aside. I'm just snugging this down. Don't go crazy, not even on the sight bolts, because you don't need to tighten this thing like it's like like you're building an airplane or heavy uh, construction equipment. You just need it snugged enough where it doesn't loosen up while you're out in the field and, and you, you get the, the stability you need to, to take that shot. Okay, so let me pick these tools up real quick and I'm going to give you a little brief breakdown of my personal opinion. And again, I say this is my personal opinion and I'm going to stand by it 100%. So, being said, being said, the advantages of having this Terminator ATAC stock versus, where is it, where did I put it, versus having this are, are two, different, two different animals two different animals. I mean, yeah, you got you got the Pikini rail down here, but what's the advantage of having this and this? One, this here, look at this. We're talking balance right now. The balance of this, I gotta actually hold this thing up because if I let it go, from behind the trigger, I kind of balance it and it just flips back. So all the way to the back, which is a good thing when you're shooting standing up. But you want to have a balance. You want to have a balance. Now, on this particular gun, I still need to change this bottle in order to create that balance on this. This project here is not finished because this bottle is an aluminum bottle, which is a heavier bottle. With a carbon fiber bottle on here, will change the whole, the whole entire thing. It'll be a perfectly balanced rifle, and extremely lightweight. This here alone, I would say maybe four pounds. I should have brought my scale out here to weigh it. That chassis there, it's maybe two thirds of that, less. All right. Now let me put that off to the side. Now, I've shot this rifle with that Woodstock many a times, and I can't say it's, an, it's, it's a bad rifle because it's not. It's an amazing rifle. But with this new chassis, I could almost guarantee you 
it's going to be 120% better. Because you got more stability, you have more features, more positioning options, and the extreme lightweight. So there it is, people. The Air Venturi Avenger. Now, I'm going to end this video here. I know I said I was going to go out and take a couple of shots on, and I will. That will be my next follow-up video. So you can see how this thing is working and its accuracy. Um, but right now, we're going to just dedicate this video to the Terminator 8 chassis. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and whatever information I was able to give you guys. And to all you air gunners out there, peace up and enjoy. Now keep me in mind, this is Tony FL at Air... At, uh, sorry guys, I'm stuttering here. Uh, Tony FL is my channel. Again, my name is Tony and uh, follow me at my channel at Tony FL at flairgunners.com and feel free to subscribe I will continue to bring more information with all the other guns um, that I've got here I mean I've done very, uh, several uh, videos with the FX all this is new to me I'm just another consumer like you are so if you see me study here and there it's because I might be a little nervous I'm not a pro promoter like some of these guys on YouTube but oh yeah now that I pointed at that screen, uh, I didn't give you the website where you can actually order this thing. So I'm going to turn this camera around and I'm going to end this video and show you who you need to look for to, if you're looking to get this particular setup. Again, this is Tony and God bless. All right, guys, I hope you got the information. Good luck to you all. See you out there in the air gun world. Peace.